Hello friends, welcome to the part 2 of this video. The TP-Link whole home Wi-Fi mesh system setup. So as you have seen in the last video, the unboxing and the two TP-Link decos and uh, the cables and quick start guide and the power calipel and everything. So I have set started the setup for the first one. Anyone we can pick as I told you earlier that like the Netgear it is not mandatory that anyone you want to be as a primary both has same connections as you can see here both have same reset buttons both have same place power buttons power sockets so we don't need and tp -Link doesn't mention that anyone is the primary or the main and the other one is the satellite you can make anyone as a primary and other one as the satellite okay so why wait my friends let's start this video so as I told you we have the power socket here first what we need to do we have to in download and install the deco app so go inside here any of the app store or in your uh, play store you can go inside here go and search for deco d-e-c-o and search it after you get, you get this app, TP-Link Deco. Just install it. Okay. So as you can see here, it's getting installed here. In the meantime, let's see some of the other things here. Like, uh, I have... Uh, one ethernet port here will be used as the primary connector here because the other one will be usable for any of you like if i set this up here i can use that second connection as output ethernet for this pc but the other one will have two connections for users of any like you can put this satellite near a tv or your playstation and connect this to ports using that so the app is installed now as you can see here now we will open this so it will ask some things and you will allow it like uh, also you need to log in here so if you don't have a ETP link account then you have to sign up or else you can enter your details here so I will enter my details here after you enter your details here after entering your details here you will see this screen now it will ask paint your home in Wi-Fi let's begin so after you do that it will ask for the Bluetooth connectivity and all you have to select the model of the deco that you have and uh, then you have to connect what you want to do so first of all we need to power this deco so as you can see here I have the power cable here we will install this here in this way as you have a slight gap here so that it will hold the cable here and don't mess around here and there in the house so it is done you get a LED indicator here as you can see here it is glowing yellow now I don't know which color you are able to see but it sees yellow now I will also connect the Ethernet cable here We will go ahead and install it on the number one. Okay, it's done. Then uh, we will go here. In here, we will select it as M4, M3, E4. Yeah, this model. We'll select it. Now it will ask find these in the deco packaging and connect it. Okay, we have done it. Now power off your modem and switch it on okay we will be done it plug in all your devices and connect the LAN port and everything it is done now check which color your modem is growing okay my modem is on now now the deco is pulsing okay we'll see that yes it is pulsing blue as you can see it is pulsing blue so now it's pulsing blue yes pulsing blue 
means the deco is ready as it is mentioned here yellow means deco is starting up and please wait okay connect to the deco's wi-fi find the deco which is connected to your modem and ethernet outlet then connect your phone or tablet to the deco wi-fi using the default ssid printed on the product label okay we will then we will do this now so where you will find it it is mentioned on the below of the deco okay so let me show you that you can check out it is mentioned on both the decos as it is mentioned here this is my ssid and uh, this is the I think on the both the decos the password and username will be same. Yes, it is same. It is four zero eight zero and this one is four zero four A. No, no, it is not different. Not same. It is different. So you have to connect, my friends, to the SSID that you have mentioned as the primary you want to make. Okay. Let's go here. In the settings here, I will be searching. This is the Deco A4 connected. So it is getting connected now. As you can see, it is connected now. Now we will go back to Deco app. I have connected. It is found. It has found the Deco now. Connecting to the Deco. Now it is done. Now it is asking where you have placed this deco. So we can check this as a, as a living room, might be. Then it asks what type of connection where I have. It's a dynamic IP or a PBO or uh, anyone that you have you can select it. But I have a dynamic IP, so I will select dynamic IP. We'll go next. Keep the MAC ID, okay, it is recommended. Now it is asking to create your Wi-Fi name and password. So I will enter the name. For example, we'll go with uh, desire. As you can see, I have given the name as desire and password we will give like uh, 80 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 it's done then hit next the most important thing is here that the connections that we connect here will have a same ssid like you don't have 2.4 gigahertz a different id and 5 gigahertz a different id okay you will be having the same ssid so it's taking some time it's creating your wi-fi network it will take some time let me skip this part so when it's done it shows this screen here connect to your wi-fi network it shows so we will go ahead in settings again and we'll check out where is the desire it is the desire 80 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 we are done now it's getting connected to desire as you can see here it takes some time because it is connecting the first time as you can see here now it is connected now we will go to deco app again and we'll hit connect deco wants to join the wi-fi network this side join I will skip this part and but it found it we don't need to skip anymore as you can see here so we are now connected to the internet it is testing the internet connection deco is now online so now we can hit done or we can add another deco so now we will go to another room and we'll add another deco there so now friends I'm in another room this is my younger brother room and uh, we have one two three concrete walls 
between this deco and the other deco so now we will hit add another deco here now it will show the same process just we have done as earlier M4 and uh, we'll mention it which floor it is it is in 3 plus first floor only we'll hit next because I am living in the same apartment now we will connect the power cable here and as you can see here same way we'll connect it yes, it is connected now and uh, we will switch it on as you can see the yellow light is glowing already the yellow LED is glowing now here deco LED is pulsing blue deco is ready and if it is yellow then it is getting starting up so let me skip this part a bit I'll wait till the deco gets blue don't get worried my friends it takes a bit time to move to blue and uh, it has been around one minute and it is still booting up and doing it happens for the first time not every time let's wait and check it out so as you can see in front of you while I was talking to you it turned blue and it is pulsing so it is started up now we will do the same process now it will connect the other deco to this deco please keep your phone or tablet connecting to the desire okay it is connected to desire For your difference, I'll show you I'm still connected to the desire and T Wi-Fi is my home Wi-Fi to make the Wi-Fi connections bit conditions here to check out the speeds between this deco. So it is getting connected to the other deco here. So let me skip this part a bit. It's taking time. So as you can see now the blue light is glowing constantly there is no pulsing that means it is connected to the main deco router so now we will select which room it is you can select any room I will select a bedroom so now it is optimizing the network it is done so I have two decos so I am done here so I am click done for now So as you can see I was having two bars here on the Wi-Fi now it is connected to three bars that means it is getting connected to this Wi-Fi so please wait it is making the network now so as you can see it is done now now it is showing how many devices I have what are there and everything here you can see my main SSID here as you can see here now I'm connected this is my iPhone it is showing how much speed or kbps I'm using here and already I have got a firmware update here asking me to update it let's update it first and then we'll check the speed tests I think we better take a speed test out of the box than waiting for the firmware update let's open this up so I have a 100 by 100 fiber connections so as you can see we are getting around 78 to 80 mbps there is no Wi-Fi problem because I suppose the other Wi-Fi router is not making that much of problem here The upload is slow I don't know why we will check this again after for updating the firmware so now let's move to the main router room and check it out again so we will check the speed test again near the main router so we are getting quite fast as compared to the other router there
but the upload is same now we will update the firmware and check it again simple using the deco app we can update the firmware here this new firmware adds a google assistant support and isolations to the main network and guest network so as you can see it's getting downloaded here already downloaded now we'll select install all decals will restart and we'll lose internet connection temporarily okay so this takes around three to five minutes let me skip this part so as you can see here my friends both of the routers are getting updated now now it is in yellow as you can see it is yellow the TP link logo is glowing yellow here so it will turn blue then only we can say that uh, the upgrade has been completed successfully after that we can check out speed test with the new firmware and I suppose there is upload speed slow because I am using the cat5 cable and uh, it is not that branded one with the main router if we use a good quality high speed cables like the Amazon Basics CAT7 or CAT6 cables, you will not face this kind of problem. I don't think this is the issue with the router. I will make another video separate only testing the speeds of these routers. So do subscribe my channel my friend and uh, hit the like button. If you have any doubts, feel free to ask in the comments section below. Bye bye.